one bedroom condo assignment for sale at playground condo including all the information hello friends Yossi captain here and today we're going to look at this assignment at playground condos 30 ordnance street just coming out with all the assignments here and i'm going to give you a detailed view about this particular assignment including all the prices all the numbers floor plans picture of the unit anything you need to know i'm going to explain to you step by step how you could buy this assignment the reason i picked this assignment is because playground condos is a cluster of new buildings located just south of King Street at Strawn, at, uh, just across from Liberty Village. Here's a quick view of the, what it's imagined like to be. Okay, so these, that's the cluster of the condos. Um, it's called Garrison Point, so it's right next to Fort York Garrison, means where the army used to be, the garrison. Okay, and the address is 30 Ordnance, and another building at 50 Ordnance. Today we're focusing on number 30. Okay, first to show some pictures of what we're talking about. Uh, if you look here, you can see, I'll just give you like an idea. This is Fort York right here. And that triangle here, that's where Playground Condo is coming in. Now, this is Stanley Park. So there's existing Stanley Park North and Stanley Park South. And there's a new bridge that's connecting them. And I went on the bridge. It's a lot of fun. There's actually two little bridges. Uh, and then it takes you right to Fort York, uh, to this park here. And the train tracks coming down below here. Uh, to your right, to your west is Liberty Village, to your south is Fort York, and then the water, and King Street right here, King West right here. So the location is phenomenal. Uh, these condos, here's, here's another render of the cluster, and here is a render of the outdoor rooftop pool that is designed for the condo. It's going to be a phenomenal project. Units are available now, and these units are selling as assignments. Now, if you've viewed assignments quite a few times in the past, in short, what's an assignment? Assignment is when somebody bought from the developer, and now before they close, before they register the unit, they sell it back to you. They can do it because the developer allows them to flip it back to you. So let's look at this article I posted this morning on urbanrealtytoronto.com. Uh, and it's uh, if you go to the, f just to find it, go to urbanrealtytoronto.com. It's going to be the first article you see. Just click here. And there's the article, it says one bedroom condo for sale, and it's going to give you some amenities, it's going to give you the condo info. So let's look at this condo, let's look at this unit, and then let's look at the numbers and details. So the unit is one bedroom, 550, 565 square feet with a balcony, it's a western exposure, it's on the 11th floor, it's a really nice unit, it's got a locker included. I just want to run you through some pictures, I received these pictures on the PDI from the pre-delivery inspection. Okay. Absolutely lovely. Look at this nice uh, beehive style uh, backsplash. Nice integrated kitchen, L-shaped kitchen like I like it. Saves a lot of space. Uh, it's a bit of a corner situation, so you got light coming from both sides, which is really nice. Bathroom is all good. Okay, that's it. Then you can see that it's protecting the door here with some uh, cardboard to make sure that it's delivered in ultimate condition. This is the floor plan. You can see you enter from here, and there's a little bit of foyer here. Okay, that's your washer dryer. That's the kitchen tucked in the back. That's perfect. You can have a little dining area, and you can have a separate living area, and yet your bedroom is still large. And the design here is very, very good because um, the bathroom is kind of hidden. So you come here. This is really a separate suite, a living area right here, living quarters. So you can sleep here, and that's where you bathe, and you got these balconies right here. Okay, so it's very, very nice. Okay, gives you another another view here. So you see this is the living area, and this is the bedroom area. So the, the bath will be to your right. Okay, and the kitchen is at the entrance as you come in to your left. Watch the floor plan. Uh, sorry, to your right. You come in, and the kitchen is to your right. Okay, so that's very nice. Okay, so why is this condo important? First of all, because the quality and the design of these condos are very, very nice. This is a... Uh, I think taking a new step, a new level in design. Somebody told me yesterday they won some awards. I haven't checked it, but that's really nice if they have. And you can see there's 516 units uh, here. There's obviously going to be a couple thousand units total. And when you come by this project, you see it. It's quite large, uh, but it's really nice because it's it's um, on the east side of uh, East Liberty, okay, and it's just south of King. So this view is actually view west. That's Liberty Village behind you. Looking from Toronto west to your right is King Street. To your left is the lake. South to the left, right is north. Ahead of you is uh, west. And east is 
CN Tower is at your back. So it's CN Tower is at your back here. Okay, you gotta. Have, I know the city well, but I walk through down here many, many times, and those bridges are really cool too. Um, there are some units for sale. The unit I'm going to show you is not listed here. It's a private sale. It's an assignment sale, but you can see the prices are well over a thousand dollar foot now. They're reaching around the eleven hundred a foot, give or take. Some of these units are asking higher, some are lower. All these units you see here are assignments. Um, these are not. These are not uh, units from developer. These are units that somebody bought from the developer, and now they're selling it back to you. Obviously, they make some good profit on these units, which is fine. Um, those prices are somewhat negotiable. Developers usually do not negotiate price. Maybe they'll throw in something for you, but usually they do not negotiate on the price. Um, UrbanRealtyToronto.com, if you see this pop-up, Investor Insider, put your name, your email, your name, and mobile to get some more information. That's the same site I just showed you. Okay, and now we're gonna do, we're gonna go, I've prepared a file with some numbers right here. What I got for you here, that's yossikaplan.com. That's another site if you want to learn about investments. If you want the info for investors, sign here. Um, and this is torontocondensforsale.com, the playground page. So you can also get information about this building from here. All these emails will come to me. You can see the developer citizen, very famous of course, L Tower and the Mississauga, Marilyn Monroe Towers, Fernbrook, Graybrook, this is serious, serious names here, okay? Strong and Wellington, Strong and King, high rise, 35 stories, 432 units. There are actually several buildings here, like I said, so there'll be, there'll be more than one. There's like four or five of them, okay? Um, Playground condos, 30 ordinance, that's the address. Ordinance, assignment condo. So it's it's at the project, it's called Garrison Point Condo. The address is 30 ordinance. The asking price of this condo is five ninety nine nine fifty, so $600,000 less $50 with only 50k deposit. You can buy this unit with 50k deposit. Obviously, at a certain point, you have to pay the rest. You have to pay the rest of 550,000, but for now, 50k will take it. And that comes to about $1,062 per square foot, which is a reasonable amount for the area, okay? It might be negotiable slightly. I cannot guarantee it, but the only way to find out is to put your offer in, you know? Uh, you can't just send your offer and send me an email and say, hey, Will they get? Will they take less? It's just not gonna work. That's this just doesn't work. You put your offer, and and then people know you're really serious about it, and then they're willing to negotiate. Usually, when you you say, yeah, I, you know, I get probably like ten or twenty emails a day, and just the number six hundred k. Yesterday, I got a, an email, and it was just a number six hundred k. So what? <laughs> I already sold that unit, and I sold it for more. And the people are like, oh, really? It's like, yeah, really, like. I don't even take you seriously when you throw when you throw things like that. I don't know who you are, your name, so you gotta be serious, okay? Anyway, uh, West unobstructed exposure, eleventh floor, and a balcony. Building render unit found available. I showed you. There's one locker with the unit and no parking. One locker. Um, when they bought it, they also got a one-year maintenance credit, a free assignment clause. That's for the seller and caps on closing six thousand. That means that you're Development charges are capped at 6000 no more. And the interim closing, they're supposed to get the keys of February 26th. Uh, it may be extended, but for now, that's the date. So that's about two weeks from now. Now, they paid for the unit approximately 355000 And just so you know, all these numbers I show you here, these are approximate numbers. Once you do an offer, we actually look at the original agreement of purchase or sale, the APS, Agreement Purchase Sale, APS. And... We review this agreement, I review it, you the buyer review it, and of course our lawyer that represents the buyer in this case uh, will review it to make sure all the numbers are correct. Uh, they pay 2500 for the locker, that's the information I got from the seller, and they also put $3,295, $3,295 in upgrades. So the estimated total price uh, for the unit was 360795 so 361 now they're selling this unit for six hundred thousand less fifty bucks, five nine 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 fifty. And if I reduce their estimated cost, I get a number which is two three nine one five five. Let's run it up to two hundred forty thousand. That is the profit that the seller of this assignment is looking at. Now that is a huge, unbelievable profit, especially if they put fifteen or twenty percent. If they put fifteen percent of this unit, they're making four times that. Actually more, almost five times that. They put 20%, 72,000. They're still making someone like four times that. It is unbelievable. That was an amazing investment. But the good news is the deposit required is only $50,000. So at $50,000, you can grab a hold of this unit. And then, of course, we negotiate the rest of the payments. And, of course, at time of final closing, um, 
the entire amount will have to be paid. Now, you may, we may be able to negotiate slightly lower price, which is fine. Uh, but, you know, it's going to be around there, around 1,000 or 1,100 a foot. These are the numbers that these units are going for. Okay, and this is uh, me, Yossi Kaplan. 993-7653, the office number, yossiasearchrealty.ca. That's my email. So I'm going to review it one more time just to make sure that everything is clear. This is the playground condo unit on the 11th floor. It's 565 square feet. It's a 30 ordinance. It's going to get the keys around February 26th. Uh, they paid 355 for it. They added a locker and upgrades. And their original payment was approximately 360795 but the cost of the assignment is about 600000 so less the original uh, paid price, so about 240000 the cost of the assignment. You can pay that um, in payments. You have, you have to pay at least $50,000 to grab this assignment, and the rest, of course, you have to pay at a later date. Uh, and no later, of course, than the registration of the unit, okay? There is a caps closing cost of 6000 I do have access to the APS, the original agreement of purchase and sale. So if you're serious about this unit or want information on any of the other units here, just let me know and I'll find it for you. Now, mind you, these are not always updated, so you can like spend your entire night looking at these units, but I can't, okay, I'm not logged in here, but I can't guarantee you that this unit will be available. I can guarantee you that this unit is available right now as I'm making this video because this information is fresh. But once again, all the information, all the numbers have to be reviewed. Uh, the fact that I give you numbers here, these are what we call estimates. Uh, they're going to be the numbers or very close to the numbers, but we still have to verify them. That's why we go through the process of the assigning and the contracting and the legal and all that. Okay, so that's it for today. A quick video, 12 minutes, more or less. Uh, Yossi Kaplan, twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan, fantastic unit. I think this will make a really good home and it will also make a really good rental. And in addition, you got to understand a lot of people are trying to buy units now, they're getting priced out. And what I suggested them to do is if you in a situation where you're getting priced out, find a good investment unit like this one. And the reason I like this one is because the floor plan is very, very good. Uh, the floor plan is on my website, urbanrealtytoronto.com. Go here, and if you want to see this unit after February 26, I can show you if it's still available. I have a feeling this unit may be purchased. Someone will assign it sight unseen just because it's such a good unit. But you can see the floor plan is very, very efficient. There's no wasted space. The kitchen is nice and tight at the back, so it gives you enough space for proper living room. The bedroom is completely separate with a with a closet and a bathroom that can serve, and, and it's hidden on the side. And it's got a, I'm not sure if there's two balconies for this unit or one, I'll have to check, but one for sure there is. It could be two, it's hard to tell from the pictures. You know, it does seem that there's a rail here and rail here, so I'll go and I say there's two balconies here actually. Definitely, you can see a rail here and a rail here, so that's actually fantastic. So that really extends, you know, your living space by quite a bit. Now I can't tell you how, much, how large the balcony here, but a large balcony worth a lot of money because that extending your living space by quite a bit, especially in the nice months. And actually, you know, this winter is a mild winter. I've been on my balcony every morning. I go get some fresh air before I leave the house. It's really nice. Uh, so it's a fantastic opportunity for you to invest. Whether you're looking for a home or you're looking for investment, um, that is a very good um, consideration. Yossi Kaplan here. Give me a shout. All the information available to you, youtube.com slash Yossi Kaplan. That's it for today. Take care.